So um, I've been using this TP-Link uh, AV2000 Nano Powerline Adapter Starter Kit uh, to use Powerline instead of Wi-Fi. So basically what I have right now is um, uh, I'm connected through this TP-Link Powerline Adapter. And uh, I noticed a problem online, and uh, there didn't seem to be any sort of answer for how to fix this. Basically what happens is uh, intermittently you'll just lose connection completely, and uh, it'll stay connected here but you'll have to literally go to the wall and unplug it and replug it back in for it to start working again and um, a lot of people had this problem and there didn't seem to be any sort of uh, official fix for it so I just thought I'd give it a try so um, first thing you're going to want to do is just open up notepad so uh, open up notepad and uh, the trick to this is actually making your computer ping your default gateway. Uh, I won't go into the details of this, but basically it'll just send a little ping uh, to basically a part of your own network uh, every second and it just keeps the connection active because what ends up happening is for some reason through this power line it goes into, into some sort of sleep state when it doesn't uh, have continued activity or something and it will disconnect you. So uh, basically what we're going to do is just have it ping the default gateway every certain amount of seconds. So before we do that we need to know what our default gateway is. So um, we can just right click here and then open Network and Sharing Center and then click here where it says Ethernet and actually you know what, easier way, we're going to go to run and then cmd.exe we're going to type in ipconfig slash all you're going to get all this junk here. Um, if you scroll up you should see Ethernet adapter Ethernet here and look down you'll see default gateway so for me it's this and uh, what I'm gonna do is just take this number and in notepad I'm gonna type in ping which basically just means send a message like send a little uh, I don't know how to explain it without going into too much detail but just just trust me on this and then T which basically just tells it to uh, do that every second I believe and then your default gateway so for me that's this Alright, and uh, instead of saving it as a text file, you're going to go save as, and then I'm just going to go to desktop here, and instead of doing text documents, you're going to do all files, and then from there, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to name mine tp-link, and instead of doing that .text, I'm going to type in .bat, save that, and you'll see here it's a little uh, gear thing, so if you look at that, it's a Windows batch file. So, um, what we could do technically is go to task scheduler and then up here we can go to action create basic task and then we can just type in TP link. When I log in, you want it to happen every time you restart your computer, uh, start a program, and we could just basically make it run that batch file each time. So we can try that. I haven't actually tried it, but I'm pretty sure it should work. Next. Finish. And then if we start it up, you should see this. So this is what's happening um, when this fix is running. Basically it just pings and set, uh, checks if you're connected. And uh, this will keep your power line from disconnecting. Uh, so Technically it's fixed right now, but if you don't want to have this window pop up every time you start your computer, um, we're going to fix that now. So I'm just going to close this and then end the task. Close out of task scheduler, and we're actually going to create a new uh, text document again. I'm just going to call it tp-link again. And instead of what we typed in earlier, uh, I'll have this in the description, but you're basically going to copy this little bit of code and basically what this will do is it'll just let <coughs> the CMD that you open run in the background so you don't have to see it. So the only thing you're going to change here is this part. So you want this to be the location of the bat file we made earlier. So if you go to properties you can see where it is. So I'm just going to paste it here. Save that. Then go back to task scheduler action, create basic task. I'm just going to call this tp-link. When I log in, 
start a program and then you're going to just click oh whoops I made a mistake there's a key part to this uh, when you save this file again you need to go to save as and then all files but instead of bat you're going to put dot vbs so you save it as a dot vbs and if it's saved to the right spot you should see this weird looking uh, script file and this is literally just a script so Windows will know what to do with this and so will task scheduler so if we go back to task scheduler um, action create basic task tp link when I log in start a program and we launch this no, I already have one but um, basically what's going to happen is when it runs see if you click run you're not going to see anything but that ping that we had this thing is going to be happening in the background so now whenever you restart your computer this is just going to run in the background and um, I'll show you it doesn't use up any resources it's not going to slow down your network or anything like that um, see I'm running 0% network it's not going to cause any sort of problems um, and that should fix the disconnecting so now you don't have to reach over or walk across the room and unplug your uh, good old power line adapter. This should have been fixed in the firmware but there are no downloads available for this power line adapter. Um, I know that this problem existed with other TP-Link adapters and I assume this will fix it for those as well. So there you go.